It is park season. From kayaking to movies to jazz, there is plenty of things to do on the Brooklyn waterfront this year. Here to tell us more about the many events planned is Nancy Webster, Executive Director of Brooklyn Bridge Park Conservancy, and Melissa Quayle, the founder of Double Dutch Empire. Welcome, ladies. Hi, thanks. Glad to be here. Happy to have you. So, Nancy, let me start with you. For uh, Brooklyn Bridge Park, I was just telling this views there are spectacular, and if you haven't been, you're missing out. You would agree, I imagine. Well, absolutely. You know, the, the park, um, uh, in addition to like beautiful green lawns and places to relax, places to picnic, and all sorts of recreational facilities, you know, really features these kind of sweeping, beautiful views of New York Harbor, you know, because we're right on the the waterfront. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect over the next few months. A lot of stuff going on. Yes, we have a whole host of free events and activities for park visitors and, and guests. So whether you're a, a culture vulture and want to come to free outdoor movies on Thursday evenings in July and August, uh, we have tons of really fun uh, fitness classes, uh, not only uh, double dutch, we have Pio, ballet, bar, um, uh, yoga, Pilates, um, Broadway dance. Uh, if you want to try something new that you probably haven't done before, a free public walk-up kayaking on Thursday evenings and Saturdays. Walk-up means you don't have to sign up in advance? No reservations, just walk up. Uh, you can get on a kayak and get out into the East River, which is super fun. And we have a whole host of other uh, education events and activities and education center that's open on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays and Sundays. And we're looking at just some of the views right now. You mentioned double Dutch, so that brings me to you, Melissa, because Double Dutch, these, it sounds so fun, but also like a throwback, but it isn't. There's so many people who are involved, and you guys are involved in the park as well. Yeah, yeah, so we do a program called Open Ropes, where we're, it's designed to get anyone to do Double Dutch, so it's free, it's open to everybody, it's on Pier 2 on Wednesdays from 7 to 9 p.m. for the whole summer, and we get about 30 to 50 people coming, it's everyone, it's families, it's kids, it's adults, it's lots of coworkers. it's a lot of people coming and we have our instructors there, we have jump ropes and we just try and encourage everybody to get in the ropes and try it regardless of their age or mm -hmm. experience. Or experience, which is important yeah. too. <laughs> Why, how did you get involved with Double Dutch and Double Dutch Empire? Well, I grew up with two sisters uh, and so we just naturally Double Dutch and then one of my sisters did not like to Double Dutch very much so we taught my dad how to turn the rope. Really? So we were a Double Dutch family. <laughs> okay. Just, yeah. So that kind of snowballed for a long time as an adult started carrying jump ropes with me everyone mm -hmm. thought it was the greatest idea ever it turned everything into a party and it just kind of started double dutch empire from there okay. and yeah our focus is on free public programming to get double dutch going and a lot of the events at uh, the park over the next few months are free or little cost right nancy absolutely absolutely and there'll be close to 600 uh, free events and activities at the park so if you go to the brooklyn bridge park website you can get a full schedule and calendar of all the mm -hmm. fun things that you can do. Wonderful. We look forward to it. Thank you both for being here. We really appreciate it. And to get more information about the activities and events taking place at Brooklyn Bridge Park, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. And now here's a look at what you can learn from the Double Dutch Empire crew.